since I'm going to create three pages and what those three pages all have in common is this layout this would be a good time to kind of do the to make the first three pages bare bones I'm going to add a little navigation menu to it and I'm going to link it all up so since this is my index.html I'm just going to change this to a header um, you see how I just I'm just using quick shortcuts in Dreamweaver, but you know, we got the H1 tag over here. And I'm going to go, welcome to my site. I don't know if I'm going to keep that as the intro, but whatever. This works for now. So that's my index page. I'm going to get this page, save as, and the next thing I'll name it as is contact. All right. And then over here, I'll go, please keep in touch. And now the next page is obviously the thanks page. And I'm just going to name that thanks. Or I'll be more polite. Thank you. And uh, we'll save that. And oh well, i got to fix that. Um, and I'll name that thanks for the info. Um, I am exclamation point crazy over here. Let me go get this out of here beautiful so okay we have those first three pages now let's put a navigation menu up at the top over here and so I'm gonna go right here now best practices is when you're making a navigation menu to use unordered lists and uh, it's really easy this is gonna end up being vertical and eventually we're gonna make it horizontal but no worries. So the tag for unordered list is UL and put it over here. And then the first thing that gets put inside of a U, uh, an unordered list is a list item. So we're going to have home and then we're going to have uh, contact. Right. And then now we're not done. We have to close that unordered list, right? Okay. Good. So Oh, there we go. Now we got this code here. Now don't just now I'm going to copy and paste all this stuff. Don't make the mistake of just get coming into design view over here and and copying just this cuz as you see it's not really getting everything. Go into code view and copy everything from the UL, everything nested inside of that uh UL. So copy that. I'm going to save this. I'm going to go to uh, we don't need it for thank you. Yeah you know what no that's not a good idea it's a good idea to keep everything consistent so we will put it in thank you because I don't know you know my thinking on it is this thank you is gonna actually redirect them back to the page but what if it just doesn't work for some reason I, I can't really think of a reason why I wouldn't redirect but you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna d design defensively just to try to get every situation done so we'll keep that in there plus it keeps consistency when we make our navigation menu and over here under obviously the first part of container over here is we'll put that in there too here's something okay this is gonna drive you nuts maybe because because I like to do this but I don't like the way this is not kind of indented in my code. This is this is total nerd tangent over here, but I, I always like to keep stuff within there indented a little bit more, and then since this is nested within there, I'll even indent that. And you know why? Because for me, it's like a really fast visual reference to see where the code is when I'm looking at it. And I'm just going to, you know what, it takes two seconds, so while I'm boring you over here with my anal retentiveness it's it's what I you know what I'm just gonna do it so um, that's that's the that's the cost of doing business with me I guess sorry about that but actually if I was really sorry I wouldn't do it now would I so I'm not no I'm just kidding uh, alright there we go so now we're all set and let's just give it a quick test so Oh, well, what am I testing over here? Whoops, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. Let me link up these pages over here. So home is going to go to our index page, like so. Contact is going to go to our contact form, like so. And, you know, I probably wasted my time um, 
with that other step, copied and pasting this ahead ahead of time, but whatever. We'll do it here. Then I'll go back and just put it right in there. Save it. I mean, I guess you could have. You didn't. Don't need to copy and paste code. You could just go and do this move on every single one. But you know, why bother? So now let's see. Home, contact, and then I know this one we named thank you. And there's no other way to get there. Um, I guess you wouldn't need a link to the thank you page, right? The only time they would get there is through the contact form. And and what's happening? Is it going anywhere? No, it's not going anywhere. So, um, so that's that's basically the first step in creating, um, basically the bare skeleton of your website.